Now if we look at the 15 marker, it says a one-dimensional 1D one array rooms contains the names of up to 20 rooms in the house. A two-dimensional 2D array dimensions is used to store the length, width, and area of each room. Right, the position of any room's data is the same in both arrays. For example, the data in index 5 of dimensions belongs to the room in index 5 of rooms. Um, now I suppose obviously I'm here right, storing three things, so right, well, three columns effectively. Right, yeah, length, width, and area. Right, the variable number stores the number of rooms for which data is to be input. There must be at least three rooms, but no more than 20. Uh, right here, so we want to write a program that meets the following requirements. Uh, we want to allow the number of rooms for which data is uh, required to be input, stored, and validated. Uh, okay, right, so yeah, obviously right here, well that has to be what, between 3 and 20, right, just asking us to validate that, uh, yeah, that number. Right, then allows the name of the room and the length and width of the room in meters to be entered and stored. Right, then we want to allow the area of each room to be calculated as length multiplied by width and stored as square meters rounded to two decimal places. Um, so of course, well, I mean this, what, just using the built-in round function, right, that IG provides. Right then, uh, calculate the average size of all the rooms by area in square meters rounded to two decimal places. Uh, right, finds the largest room and smallest room by area. Uh, right, yeah, outputs the names of all rooms with their dimensions and area. Right, outputs the names of the largest and smallest room right, by area and outputs the total area of the house and the average size of all rooms by area. Right, and then here it says uh, you must use pseudocode or program code and add comments to explain how your code works. Right, you do not need to declare any arrays or variables. You may assume that this has already been done. Right, all inputs and outputs must contain suitable messages. All right, so again, well, let's just open this here on the site. And of course, well, as always, uh, what well, you can go to exam questions, right? Go to pseudocode. I mean, obviously, well, choose this, you know, this particular question. Right, and well, of course, right, that's going to give you this start code here. I mean, I mean, not too much in this one. Right, then for just opening code editor. Now, what I'm going to do, well, I'm just going to paste the comments or, yeah, well, paste the instructions. So I think the first thing that we uh, we can do then, well, we just want to ask them how many rooms are in the house. So yeah, let, let's just do that. And I think for this, well, let's just go repeat until. And what we want to say, well, it has to be greater than or equal to three, yeah, and less than or equal to 20. Um, yeah, I, th I think that was exclusive. Uh, so let's try that, right? Uh, let's say, yeah, enter, or all right, well, yeah, let's ask them. All right, yeah, how, ma uh, how many rooms are in the house? Uh, and all right, I mean, let's give them a limit, right? Let's say three to 20. Right, so then we just want to input, and what we just want to input that into this number. Um, and let's just check, I mean, I think that was, yeah, okay, right, so there must be at least three rooms, right, but no more than 20. So again, that's going to be inclusive. So here then we want to check, okay, well, until number is, well, greater than or equal to three, uh, yeah, and number, well, less than or equal to 20. So yeah, that should be fine then. Allows the name of the room and the length and width of the room, right, in meters to be entered, uh, right, and stored. So I guess here then, well, here then we just need a loop through all of the rooms. And um, that's going to be what, I mean, for, let's say, room number, right, two, well, this number. So, right, let's just do that. Uh, let's go four and let's call this maybe room number. Right, let's start that at one and let's just go, well, two number. And of course, what well, I mean, this number is how many rooms there are. So to be honest, right, even though it says we don't have to declare variables, I mean, I mean I'm just going to declare them anyway. Uh, all right, so let's go room number. Uh, yeah, okay, all right, all right, let's go room number, and that's going to be, uh, all right, well, let's go integer. Now, to be honest, right, I mean, as maybe you saw, right, sometimes when they use a for loop, they don't require you to declare, um, yeah, although generally they do want you to declare, I mean, I guess, well, certainly for AS. So, yeah, I think even a for loop, right, I mean, I mean, it's better to declare, right, yeah, to declare the count variable. Uh, right, so what do we want to do first? I guess, yeah, we want to ask them to enter the name. And then I think for the name, I mean, we can also validate this. So just uh, basically, well, kind of ask them to enter right until they actually enter something non-empty. Because if they just enter like an empty name, uh, yeah, of course, well, that's going to be invalid. So, I mean, again, well, all right, let's just do the same thing. Let's go output. Uh, all right, let's say yeah, enter name of, and um, we'll just say what room one. So the way we can say room one, well, that's going to be room, and then well, room number. Right, then we want to input. And right, that's going to be input into, I guess, is it room names? Or wait, rooms? Uh, yeah, okay, all right, so I guess well, rooms, right, that's going to contain the names. Right, so here then, and um, that's going to be, uh, well, room number is going to be the index. Right, I think that's fine, and let's go until, and right, that's going to be rooms, uh, room number, and well, until that's not equal to an empty string. Um, I, I mean, of course, right, I mean, here we could also go length, right, so we could go, well, length of room number, uh, and I suppose, well, here we'd have to go, well, not equal to zero. Um, yeah, that's also going to be equivalent. 
Although to be honest, right, I think I'm, I'm just going to do it like this, right, until you have rooms that's not equal to an empty string. Right, then we just want to do what the length and width. Um, all right, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to copy this because again, it's you know it's going to be quite similar. And I mean, I think here it doesn't say that we have to validate, although I think it's better if we do. So I mean, what, okay, let's just say they have to be what greater than zero. Um, yeah, it doesn't really make sense to have a you know room with well length or width zero. All right, so yeah, all right, let's say uh, yeah, okay, right, length. Um, and I think right here, rather than saying of room, well, I mean, let's use the room name. So the room name, well, that's going to be rooms. Uh, and then, well, I guess you have room number like that. So it's going to say, well, I mean, yeah, enter length of, you know, bathroom, for example. Right then here then, okay, so what we're going to do, uh, we're going to input that into, uh, is it, okay, right, dimensions. Right, and then the index, well, it's going to be room number. And then, well, this, this one's going to be, what well, index one. And I guess we just want to check Right, and then what until uh, yeah until this dimension, and uh, let's go what until it's greater than zero, and right then I'm just going to copy it because well I'm mean, this one basically it's just going to be identical, right? So we're just going to go uh, what yeah enter width of and then well here we're going to input uh, okay we're going to input that into column two because I think yeah column two is going to be the width, of course yeah check that's greater than zero again. Okay, so I think now then well let's just calculate the area. So we want to go dimensions. And right, that's going to be our room number, what then index three or our column three. Um, and then right, remember this one we have to round. So let's just go round and write this one. Let's just copy this. So what it's, it's going to be well this uh, and right, let's go well multiplied and right, yeah, by this one. And of course, right, I mean, make sure to use the, well, the correct, yeah, column. Uh, so of course, well, column one, right, that was going to be the length, right? Column two, well, that's the, uh, yeah, that's the width. Now remember, okay, round is going to take a second parameter and that's going to take two. Right, because uh, well, if, right, if we see here, uh, yeah, I guess it's kind of gone over. All right, if we see here, okay, okay, so the second parameter, that's the number of digits to round to. Um, yeah, which of course, well, that's two, right, in this case. So I think that should be fine. And then what I'm going to do, right, because I, I think this one, I mean, actually, technically, we could output all of this, you know, in this, well, yeah, just in this loop here. Um, however, I think, like, well, obviously, yeah, it, it kind of makes more sense, right? I mean, first get all the input. Right, and then yeah, once you've got all the input, we'll then just kind of output everything neatly at the end. So yeah, here then, all right, let's just uh, kind of stop this loop. Uh, right, so we're gonna go right next and what is gonna be room number. And then I think here, right, if we want to get the uh, largest and smallest rooms, then I mean, we could do it just by using the index. So what we would want is, okay, well, we would want a what largest room index and smallest room index. Um, I think it might also be helpful, right, also to store the largest room area right, and the smallest room area. Uh, yeah, although, although I guess technically we wouldn't have to do that. So, right, okay, all right, so yeah, all right. So let's try just with the index first. I mean, you know, just to show how it can be done, right, then I'll, you know, I'll also, right, have other variables as well. Uh, right, so let's go, uh, yeah, okay, right, so well, yeah, largest room index. And then, all right, so well, smallest room index. Right, okay, so well, of course, right, I mean, they're, well, they're going to be integers, right, they're indexes to the array. Right, then I think what we can do, well, we can just assign this, you know, at the start, right, it's just being element one. So, yeah, let's go, right, largest room as well, just, yeah, the first room, right, smallest room, all right, again, obviously, yeah, just, uh, okay, right, yeah, so just assign it to one to start with. Um, right, then what we want to do, well, since we want to loop through and output every single one, well, of course, right, right again, well, then we're going to need room number. All right, let's start that at one, um, we're going to go... Well, again, right, to the number of rooms. Right, then what is it we want to output? So we want to output the name, right, uh, with their dimensions and area. So we want to say what the width, uh, yeah, the width, length, and area, or, yeah, okay. Uh, right, I, I mean, all right, let's, uh, all right, let's get output, and we'll just say, I know, like, dimensions, uh, yeah, just to give it this kind of menu heading. Um, although, of course, you know, in the exam, you don't need to do this. Right, so what we can say then, uh, right, let's just say, yeah, all right, okay, so I think what I want to say, all right, let's say, you know, kitchen has a length of whatever, right, and a width of, right, something, uh, then say, yeah, area, right, equals, and then whatever that's going to be. So in order to do that, well, let's go rooms, uh, right, that's going to be the room number. Um, yeah, all right, okay, I mean, yeah, all right, so let's do a whole sentence, right, has a length of, uh, right, that's going to be what dimensions, right, that's going to be our room number index one. Right, let's go meters. All right, so just M. All right, yeah, and a width of. And of course, well, that's going to be the same, right? Dimensions, uh, yeah, room number, right? Index two. 
uh, all right, well, all right, okay, yeah, let's not go and, right, let's say, yeah, so meter, uh, right, okay, a length of, right, this many meters, a width of, right, this many meters, all uh, right, let's say, yeah, and, uh, right, an area of, uh, and, right, that's going to be, what well, dimensions, uh, yeah, room number, right, then index three, and let's say here, well, of course, right, that's going to be meter squared, right, so I think, yeah, that's fine, right, then I'll put the name of the largest room, yeah, okay, that's fine, right, then, all right, the total area of the house and the average size of all the rooms by area. Right, okay, so I guess if you want an average, uh, yeah, if you want an average size of the house, well, what, we're going to need the total area, right, divided by the number. And, of course, well, I mean, obviously, yeah, the, uh, right, the number of rooms, that's this variable here. So let's go here then. All right, let's go total area. All right, of course, well, that's going to be real. Uh, let's just initialize that. All right, so, uh, okay, right, total area, right, just initialize that to zero. Then what we're going to say, well, all right, this is going to be our total area, right, and then, well, of course, just add it, right, total area plus... Uh, yeah, and then obviously, obviously, well, dimension to index three, that's the area. Right, then I guess we want to check, uh, right, if this current room is, well, yeah, bigger than, you know, the largest room, right, or if it's smaller than the smallest room. So let's check that, and the way we can do that, we want to go, uh, right, so here, uh, right, okay, so of course, right, this is going to be the area. Right, so yeah, if this area is, well, greater than, and, and again, right, this is why maybe it's easier to actually have another variable as well. Um, but here, okay, what we want to go, the largest room index, and then, well, column three. Right, then what we want to do, I guess we just want to, uh, right, okay, right, of course, well, we want to update this largest room index. And, yeah, this is now going to become the current room number. Right, and I think, yeah, well, then we can just end if. Now, if we think, well, of course, the smallest room index, right, it's just going to be the same. Uh, so we can say, well, dimensions, uh, right, room number three, right, but, of course, well, in this case, it's going to be less than. So, yeah, if the current room has an area smaller than, uh, well, yeah, of course, the area of the smallest room index. Uh, right, then what we want to do, so we want to set the smallest room index, uh, again, right, just to the current room number. Uh, right, I think that's going to be it, right? So let's go next room number, right? Well, and, and of course, yeah, then let's just output that. So, right, let's say smallest room. Uh, right, smallest room, and let's say the name. So that's going to be, uh, yeah, rooms, right? And then this one is going to be, what, the smallest room index? Right, and then I think I'm just going to put in brackets, um, right, and then what that's going to be, uh, okay, here we go. Uh, right, yeah, the smallest room index, three. Uh, right, then let's just go brackets like that. And yeah, let's also go, right, meter squared. Uh, right, so I think that should be okay. And then I'm just going to copy that for largest room. Uh, right, so yeah, let's go largest room. Uh, of course, well, that's going to be largest room index. Uh, and then, yeah, obviously, well, largest room index here. Now, I'm going to test it, right, if it works, then I'll go back and add comments. So, and it, well, all right, okay, I mean, let's read, make sure we've got everything. All right, allows the number of rooms for, uh, for which data is to be input. Yeah, okay, I think that's fine. Right, the room and length, yeah, length and width, yeah, that's fine. Uh, right, area, yeah, I guess rounded to two decimal places, right, calculates. Right, okay, so I think here we haven't output the average, right, that, that's one thing we need to do. Uh, then, well, largest, smallest rooms, yeah, done that, right, the names, uh, yeah, okay. Um, all right, so yeah, let, let's let's just do this then. Right, so, uh, right output. All right, let, all right, okay. Let's say total area. Well, yeah, I guess well total house area. Uh, right, that's gonna be all right. Uh, yeah, that's gonna be well this total area. And, and again, right, let's go uh, meter squared. Um, right, and then here, well, let's go average. Right, so yeah, uh, all right, let's get average room. Uh, well, I guess yeah, average room area or average room dimensions. Uh, right, so this one then is going to be what the total area divided by, uh, and well, that's going to be divided by the number. Now, the thing is with this, I mean, I mean of course, right, this could be some huge decimal. Uh, does it say we need to round to two decimal places? Uh, no, I, I mean, so here it doesn't say we have to round to two decimal places, but to be honest, right, I'm just going to do it anyway, because, well, again, otherwise we're going to have some huge number. Um, all right, so I think, yeah, that should be okay. And again, right, let's just go, uh, yeah, let's just go meter squared like that. All right, so let, let's try and run this. Okay, so I just realized, right, there's actually a small mistake here uh, just with this dimensions so that I actually had. It's just being, well, one, uh, well, just, right, two elements, uh, just the length and, uh, yeah, the length and width. All right, I didn't realize they also wanted us to store the area here. All right, so I'll fix this right now. Hopefully, it's going to work. So let's run this. Um, and of course, yeah, well, all right, I'll also update this right in the starter code. So let's try two. Okay, right, two rooms invalid. Uh, let's try 25, right, invalid. Right, let's try three. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Right, enter the name of room one. So let's say kitchen. Uh, right, the length of kitchen, I don't know, three meters. Right, the width, let's say two. 
Um, yeah, okay, right. So I, I thought, well, obviously, yeah, I'm here. It's not going to output the uh, it's not going to output the area yet. Uh, right, let's say, I don't know, bathroom. Uh, right, that can be, uh, I don't know, maybe two meters by like 1.5 meters. And right, let's say, living room. And uh, that can be, right, let's say, well, four meters by four meters. Um, all right, so I mean, it's given us a lot of output. Is it correct? Right, so kitchen has a length of three, width of two, and an area of six. Yeah, that seems correct. Right, two, 1.5. Yeah, I guess, right, that's going to be three, multiply them together. Right, obviously, well, yeah, four times four is 16. Right, so the smallest room is the bathroom, right, three meters squared. Uh, yeah, that seems correct. Right, large room, living room. Yeah, that's correct. Uh, total area, 25. I guess, well, 60, uh, yeah, 16 plus nine. Yeah, that, that's correct. Uh, right then average, so is that correct? 25 divided by 3, yeah, because I guess 24 is going to be 8, right? Yeah, therefore 8 and 1 third. Um, Alright guys, so I think that's working, alright? So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go through and comment this quickly. Right, so this first part, uh, let's say, yeah, okay, alright, uh, let's say, yeah, get and validate, alright, get and validate number of rooms, alright, in house. Uh, let's say, what, yeah, 3, 2, 20 inclusive. Uh, right and here so right okay well this loop well this is going to be the uh, the loop that's just inputting the data so uh, I don't know yeah like, right, let's say get room data right via user input um, of course well you could say what data well that's the name the length the width yeah I think you know it doesn't really matter um, I mean I, th I think you know you know honestly again I mean this is quite self-explanatory although yeah maybe they would want you to comment this um, it, well, again, obviously, I mean, you can just read here by the output statement. All right, okay, right, let's say, uh, yeah, get name of room, or, all right, or let's say input. Uh, yeah, input name of room, all right, until, uh, yeah, not empty. Uh, right, obviously, well, the, all right, the next one, uh, all right, okay, yeah, all right, let's say, yeah, into length of room, all right, until, well, greater than zero. Right, I'm just going to comment this one, uh, well, copy that one. Uh, right, and then, obviously, well, input, yeah, width of room. Right, and then here, so what this is going to be calculate the room area. All right, yeah, let's say calculate and assign room area. Well, yeah, obviously, well, two dimensions array, right? I think we don't really need that. Right, so what we can do, uh, let's see here, uh, I don't know, right, let's say, uh, yeah, assume, or, 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 or let's say initialize. Uh, yeah, initialize variables. Right, and then here, so, uh, or let's say, I don't know, yeah, loop, right, two output details. Or yeah, I guess I know room, or let's say room dimensions, right? Details. Uh, yeah, I think that's fine. And then uh, I mean, I guess this output is quite obvious, really. Um, right. If we look at this one, so let's say, all right, okay, uh, yeah, all right, okay, right. Uh, so let's say, yeah, update. Well, I guess you yeah, update largest room index, right? If the current room is larger. Um, yeah. Okay. Right. Let's say something like that. Although you know, it's not really the most concise, but. All right, okay, so yeah, update large room index. All right, if current room, uh, yeah, is bigger. And of course, well, I mean, obviously, right, this next one. Uh, and yeah, let's just, uh, right, tab that, indent that. So, right, update smallest room index, right, if current room is smaller. Uh, and then I guess here, what we can just say, I know, yeah, output final details. Or, right, okay, all right, let's say, yeah, output smallest, uh, well, large, well, right, okay, all right, let's say, yeah, smallest and largest rooms. Uh, right, let's say, uh, well, right, yeah, total right, and average area. Um, all right, guys, so again, I mean, hopefully that video is useful. Uh, if you've got any questions, ask in the comments. And yeah, I'll see you again in the next video.